What's up guys and welcome back to World War Polygon. And today we got the Damascus Elite QBZ. You get this thing at tier 24 and surprisingly it is free. You don't need to pay to unlock this thing. You just got to play and it is very surprising. Normally nice looking blueprints like this one aren't free in the battle pass. So that's cool that Activision is finally giving us something nice for the freebies. What's up man? What's up? No uh, fist bump? Okay. No fist bump? I don't fist bump people like you man. So the attachments on this thing is the task force barrel, 50 round fast mags, and the serpent grip. And now these attachments are decent, I guess. I would say throw the airborne elastic wrap on, but for the sake of these videos, we only add attachments. And in this video, I'm going to be doing two loadouts, one with the base attachments by just adding on extra attachments, and two just completely using the best class setup possible for the QBZ. So the class setup, just utilizing the base attachments, we're going to just add the microflex LED, Muzzle brake, mounted flashlight. Flashlights are really good in this game. Field agent grip to help control some of the recoil from that task force barrel. We're gonna add the Raider stock. Now, if you have the fresh powder blueprint, I think that personally looks very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. All right, and for the best class setup for the QBZ, we're gonna go still using the gunfighter perk, microflex LED, muzzle brake, ranger barrel, flashlight, field agent grip. Now I'm gonna run jungle style mags because I personally don't need extended mags. But if you struggle, you know, if you're always catch yourself out in the open and you need to reload you can throw on whatever mags you want but i'm just gonna use jungle style mag because there's no negatives airborne elastic wrap and the raider stop so yeah even with this blueprint if you're running just completely opposite attachments of what the game gives you initially still maintains that cool damascusy look team deathmatch all right, and here is the Damascus Elite. Oh, this test force barrel is actually kind of interesting. I never really tried this thing with it. Wait a minute, hold up. I've never liked it. Wow. Yeah, the recoil is high. I stopped controlling it for a split second and it just flew way over to the dude's head. We already got a mini gun. Oh! <laughs> I love. Ah, no! Kobe! Oh, crap. Oh! Oh no, <sighs> why does he have gas mine there, dude? I'm actually liking this map in 6v6. In 3v3, I thought it was the worst map in the game, like honestly. But in 6v6, I've been really liking this map. All right, protect me, homie. Oh, crap! On a 20. I've been finally getting used to my controller settings. I actually switched my dead zone, my stick tensions on my Elite 2 controller, and my aim assist type. And I've finally gotten used to it. And in the end, I think it's benefited me enough to warrant the two weeks of pain it took. This QBZ class is actually really good on this map in particular, or probably any map that's got medium to close range engagements, but with this task force barrel that's on this thing, you don't want to run this thing any other time. Oh my god, why do you have an RPG, man? Alright, we got the nuclear, alright. And here we got my class for the QBZ. 
and it still maintains the cool look of the blueprint and look how low the recoil is on this thing now the time to kill isn't going to be as fast due to the lack of task force barrel but in my opinion bruh <laughs>